Hello good people. How are you all doing today? I hope you are doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am also doing good. My name is Mercy and I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to our channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you will be able to get notified. And for our returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for always being here. I really appreciate. My people, in today's video, I want us to look at these fake stories once again. You know, I am here to support Harry and Meghan and defend them whenever they are attacked. And I will not get tired doing so. Because I just love them with my all heart. I love Harry and Meghan and the kind of work they are doing. Now, whenever I see them having fun, I am happy too. I feel like I am also relaxing because they are relaxing. That is personally the feeling I always have. So, just because Charles the King is celebrating his 75th birthday very soon, they decided to Try painting Harry someone bad. You know, okay, we are used to them. They always do that. They always try to talk of Harry being such a bad person. But you know, we are so much aware and we know the kind of Harry. We know the kind of Prince Harry and also his family and all what they do. So, I want you people to listen to this particular piece from a certain website so they wrote about harry and in quotes they said king charles is celebrating his upcoming 75th birthday with a party filled with family and friends reports stated that prince harry would not be in attendance despite being invited however the duke of sussex spokesman said those stories are inaccurate and disappointing now charles is celebrating his 75th birthday it's okay let him do but this kind of stories saying that prince harry will not attend despite being invited what is the main reason for this Honestly speaking, they are just trying to talk of Harry being such a bad person who do not want to attend his father's birthday party or something like that. I know they basically meant that. But you know, Harry has never failed because I even remember during the coronation of the king, that is Charles, his father, imagine despite his own son having the birthday on the same day harry went ahead and he flew to uk for that particular event and then he later came back to archie's birthday so sometimes you feel like these people are attacking harry for nothing honestly speaking harry has always tried his best he has never had any bad blood with any person but these people will always try to talk of harry being the bad one okay so in response to the uk media headlines that they are saying that prince harry has refused to go to king charles birthday there has been no contact regarding any invitation to his majesty upcoming birthday so that is the response to that. No one has invited Prince Harry to that birthday. So it's not good to just come out and talk of Harry refusing to go for that particular event. And yet he did not get any invitation. And you know, if Harry do not go to that particular birthday, it's not a mistake. First of all, these royal people, Charles, and even Harry's brother, that is William, and any other person from the royal family, they never even wished Harry happy birthday during 
the Invictus Games. So I remember Prince Harry celebrated his birthday in Germany when he was hosting the Invictus Games 2023. And honestly speaking, we saw nothing about the royal family wishing Harry a happy birthday. And so, is it even a must for Harry to attend Charles' birthday? Just asking myself. Because, you know, sometimes you just can't force yourself to people who do not want you. It's not good. Definitely, you will need a break and you will need to do your own things. Not forcing yourself to people who are hating you, who are avoiding you, and even not wishing you the best. And so, while the Sunday Times reported that Harry was invited and turned down an invitation, a source with knowledge of situation clarified to the messenger that the palace had never reached out. And I am very sure that they did not reach out. But you know, this media... They will always use any opportunity to say something about Harry just to claim that Harry refused to go to Charles' birthday. First of all, it's so hard for you to come up with a story which even you have not heard. And then there are these people just seated somewhere so that whenever there is an event, any chance given, they are there to write something about Harry in a negative way. Why can't they say that Prince Harry is going to visit UK for Charles' birthday, something of sorts? Why is it that they are saying he refused to go? He has turned down the invitation, which is not there, honestly speaking. So I side with the Duke of Sussex spokesman who said that the stories are inaccurate and they are so disappointing. We are all disappointed for this. Personally, I feel so bad that Harry is being used in a negative way. That Harry is being said that he is refusing to go for his father's birthday party. Okay, the disappointments are a lot. We have seen a lot. Even away from this birthday story, there are a lot of other things that this media won't allow Harry to stay at peace. So, and they are not talking of Meghan being invited. So I know they just wanted to say that Harry turned down the invitation so that they can claim that Meghan is the one influencing Harry or something of sorts. I just think it's something of sorts. Probably they are trying to Say something about Harry so that they bring in Meghan as the bad person even between Harry and Meghan. They have always done that. And so this story is so disappointing to me. And I know you people, you are not even feeling good about it. The fake stories, all the lies, they always talk about Harry. I just wish that someday these people will be able to talk of facts. And I even thought the role of media is to report what is happening. They are just making some fake news about Harry, reporting the lies. The media is faded out. The role is being turned. That is personally my own view. So my people, I want you to comment down below. If Harry got the invitation and he turned down, but I am very sure that he did not get that invitation. He just can't say that he was not invited and yet he was invited. He could have just said, if he was invited, he could say that I am invited, but because of this and this, I will not be able to attend. But honestly speaking, Harry did not receive that invitation. I am very sure the kind of bitterness that Charles and the whole royal family have for Harry and the family that Harry is raising cannot allow them to invite for such events. That is personally my own take. You can comment down below about your own view on this. And my people, kindly allow me to end this particular video at this point. Kindly stay tuned for the next one.
and do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also like this particular video. Thank you so much for watching up to the end. Until next time, goodbye.